Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. Let's look at how to find out the equation of the straight lines which is passing through point of intersection of two lines and parallel to another line. We can solve this problem already with whatever the knowledge we have. We can find out the point of intersection by using any of the method substitution, elimination or cross product method. You can find out the x and y values. After that, you can find out the line which is parallel to this and also passing through the point of intersection. That's one way of doing it. Another way what we are going to look into is now what is the equation of the family of lines which is passing through a point of intersection of two lines. Let us say that this line is L1 and this line is L2. So L1 is 4x minus 3y equal to 0 and L2 equal to 2x minus 5y plus 3 equal to 0. Then the family of the lines which is passing through a fixed point that is nothing but point of intersection of these two lines is given by 4x minus 3y L1 plus lambda into L2. L2 is 2x minus 5y plus 3 equal to 0. Now, we have been given that this line is parallel to 4x plus 5y plus 8. We have to get it parallel to 4x plus 5y plus 8 equal to 0. So, what is the approach we will take? We will take the approach. We will find out the slope from here. So, let us find out the slope of this line. For that, what I will do? I will try to write it in the form of ax plus by plus c equal to 0. If I simplify, I will have 4x plus lambda 2x. Let me put down like terms at 1 plus 4x plus lambda 2x minus 3y minus 5 lambda y plus 3 lambda equal to 0, which is nothing but equal to, can I say as 4 plus 2 lambda 4 plus 2 lambda into x minus of lambda in minus of let us say we want y out. So, I will take y. If I take y, I will have 3 plus 5 lambda plus 3 lambda equal to 0. But this line which is nothing but the equation of the straight line passing through point of intersection of 4x minus 3y and 2x minus 5y plus 3. We need the equation which is parallel to 4x plus 5y plus 8. 4x plus 5y plus 8 equal to 0. Both of them should be parallel. So, how we know if two lines are parallel to each other like a1x plus b1y and a2x plus b2y, we know a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2. So, can I go ahead and write 4 plus 2 lambda divided by 4 equal to 3 minus 3 divided by minus of 3 plus 5 lambda. I can cancel minus minus. If I cross multiply, I will have, okay, we did exactly the reverse here. Let me just simplify this one. 4 plus 2 lambda divided by 4. 4 plus 2 lambda divided by 4 equal to minus of 3 plus 5 lambda divided by 5. So, we have to compare A1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2. So, we are just comparing those two lines. First, we find out the equation of the lines which is passing through point of intersection that is L1 plus L2. Now, if I simplify this and find out the value of lambda and substitute, I should be able to get my solution. So, let me do cross multiplication now. I will have 20 plus 10 lambda equal to minus 12 minus 20 lambda or I will have 30 lambda equal to minus 32 or lambda equal to minus 16 by 15. 
Now once we got the value of lambda, it's pretty easy. We can go back and substitute the value of lambda. So let us substitute the value of lambda. We'll substitute the value of lambda. So I will have 4x minus 3y plus lambda that is minus 16 by 15 into 2x minus 5y plus 3 equal to 0. If we simplify this, we will have 16 into 4x minus 3y. It's 15 into 4x minus 3y minus 16 into 2x minus 5y plus 3 equal to 0. Can we do one more step? Let us see. We can do one more step. We will have 15 into 4 is 60x minus 45y minus 32x plus 80y minus 48 equal to 0. If I simplify that, 60x minus 32x is 28x minus 45y plus 80y is plus 35y minus 48 equal to 0. So, the equation of the straight line which is passing through the point of intersection of 4x minus 3y equal to 0 and 2x minus 5y plus 3 equal to 0 and parallel to the line 4x plus 5y plus 8 equal to 0 is nothing but equal to 28x plus 35y minus 48 equal to 0. How we solve this? Now we are looking at how to find out the equation of the line passing through the point of intersection of two lines. Now the equation is if you know the two lines then the line which is passing through the point of intersection of them a fixed point is L1 plus lambda L2. We'll see a couple of minutes how we got this after after summarization. L1 plus lambda M2. We have L1, we have L2. We have formed the equation in the form of converted this into ax plus by plus c. We can see what is the value of a, we can see what is the value of b. Now this line should be parallel to 4x plus 5y plus 8. That means both of them should have the same slope. You know that if two lines are parallel to each other, then their slopes are equal or a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2. We have a1, we have a2, we have b1, we have b2. Simplified, we found that lambda equal to minus 16 by 15. Once we got it, we can directly go ahead and substitute in the equation. Okay, now let's just spend a couple of minutes and try to understand how we got this L1 plus L2 equal to 0 equation. Okay, now for that I will take two lines. Let us say L1 equal to A1x plus B1y plus C1 equal to 0 and L2 equal to A2x plus B2y plus C2 equal to 0. So we have two lines L1 and L2. Now you want to find out the equation of the line which is passing through the point of intersection of them. First let us say the point of intersection of this is h comma a. You know that if h comma a is the point of intersection of these two lines then h comma k should be satisfied both the lines that means I will have a1h plus b1k plus c1 equal to 0. Similarly, I will have a2h plus b2h k plus c2 equal to 0. What we are saying is simply if h comma k is the point of intersection of L1 and N2, L2, then it should satisfy both this. Now let us look at another line. The line equation is a1x plus b1y plus c1 equal to z. Let us say there is a line called a1x plus b1y plus c1 plus lambda into a2x plus b2y plus c2. Let me just put a mark here so that okay there you go. So let us say there is a line a1x plus b1y plus c1 plus lambda into a2x plus b2y plus c2 equal to 0. 
now if you try to substitute the value of h comma k in this you will see that it will be nothing but a1h plus b1k plus c1 plus lambda into a2h plus b2k plus c2 equal to 0. Now you know the first part is 0, second part is 0 because we already know that. So this becomes 0. That means the, h, the point h comma k is satisfied by any line which is passing through L1 plus which is passing through h comma k can be given by L1 plus lambda L2. So you know two you know two lines you want to find out the line which is passing through point of intersection of them you can say simply L1 plus lambda L2 the first line plus lambda into second line that is what we have leveraged in this example I hope I am okay clear there. So once we have substituted in L1 plus lambda L2 we found that we transformed it in the form of AX plus BY plus C equal to 0. Now we equate the slopes of this with 4x plus 5y plus 8 equal to 0. Instead of equating the slopes, I just went with a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2. a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 is the condition to be satisfied if two lines are parallel to each other. That's nothing but equal to slopes are equal. Okay. So if slopes are equal a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2, equate them, find out the value of lambda. And once you got the lambda, again substitute it back in the equation L1 plus lambda L2 equal to 0. So in the next session, we will solve some more examples. Just remember that if you want to find out the equation of a straight line passing through point of intersection of two lines, the equation will be of the form L1 plus lambda L2 equal to 0, where L1, L2 are the lines. And you want to find out the equation of the line passing through point of intersection of L1 and L2 then it will be L1 plus lambda L2 equal to 0. Now after that you will be given another condition saying that parallel to one line, perpendicular to one line or making an triangle with an area of this. Whatever the condition is given, but first we will start with L1 plus lambda L2 equal to 0. I will catch you in the next session. We will do some more interesting examples as part of family of straight lines, as part of straight lines in coordinate geometry. Thanks for your time. Bye for now.